Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about a couple RV hacks that I'm going to show you. One concerns the steps in the event that they get stuck out somewhere and you urgently need to get back down the road. Maybe you pulled over fuel and you couldn't get the steps back out or you couldn't get them back in. I'm going to show you what you can do on these RV steps. It's a simple thing that you can do to prevent you from getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere and you can't get your steps back in and you can't or you can't get them back out. The other one, the other hack I'm going to show you is how you can wash your motor home, your RV, even if you're boondocking. On this particular motor home, we have what's called a low point drain and I'm going to show you how to hook up a water hose to a low point drain. So if you have the water, this particular unit has 100 gallon tank. So that's, that may be uh, quite an advantage to wash your motor home. At the same time, I'm gonna ask you to do something. We will be in Quartzsite in October, like a lot of you. And I would like to do some interviews of some of you. Some of you are veer. I like to showcase your rigs. I like to share it with other people. If you're living in your car, a van, a motorhome, a travel trailer, or maybe it's a, a schoolie or a tent or any way you're camping, you come into Quartzsite, I want you to get a hold of me and I would like to do an interview with you. How you got there, was it by chance or was it by choice? How you live, take a look at your rig, how you work out your ADLs, your activities of daily life. And so I would like to do that. Get a hold of me. You can contact me by email. It's a special email address just for you. It's rvrusainterview at gmail.com. That's rvrusainterview at gmail.com. So now let's get on with our hacks. On this particular RV, it has something called the low point drain for the cold and the hot side. And that's when you want to winterize your RV, you drain it, it's at its lowest point. The water goes no lower than that. All the water in the RV. I got this idea of how to wash my RV, even if I'm boondocking. I'm gonna look down here and we're gonna see the low point drain cold, the low point drain hot. Well, we're only gonna use this. I intend to connect this under here. So let's give it a try. Then we'll take this alligator clamp and put it on here and see if I can tighten this down. It's not easy, but it looks. <clears throat> this is our isolator valve. I got the water pump on, you can see that right there. The water pump is on. Now this is 50 feet, and you can see how far that reaches. So will this actually work? Let's give it a try. Since I didn't turn the water pump off, and I've got 100 gallons of water in the tank, this should just keep running. Now it's not much, but it's enough. As my dear late cousin would say, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So now let's take a look at this little hack I came up with to fix your steps. A lot of RVers have problems with their steps, the uh, electric steps. When you open the door, they're supposed to come out. When you close the door, they come in if you have them set that way. Sometimes they get stuck. Maybe it's a low battery. It could be uh, a bad motor. It could be various reasons. But I'm going to show you what to do to get your steps in or out in the event uh, that kind of thing happens to you. I'm not going to actually perform it. I'm just going to show you how it's done because I learned a long time ago, don't fix something if it's not broken. So let's get under the steps. So we're under the steps now, and I want to show you what you need to do in order to fix your steps the way we just talked about. Now look. 
And what we're going to focus on is this little pin right here. If you ever have to repair your steps, take this pin out right here and put this one in. You don't have to worry about a cotter key. I replaced the cotter key with the hairpin here. So I'm not going to pull this pin out because it's not broken. But if I ever have trouble with it again, I'm going to put this pin in right here. The reason why is this pull pin, it doesn't need a cotter key. It's got this little ball right here, this little ball right here. And it's a quick, quick pull. You simply pull it out. It's a quarter inch in diameter and three inches long. That will release the steps from the motor, from the linkage here, and you'll be able to move your steps in and out freely. And you can see here, we replaced the motor here the other day. Well, that's a hack for the day. I hope it helped you a little bit. The water hose could, there are adapters. You can use water from various parts of the RV. But to me, that is a permanent fix and it's a permanent water hose. So I thank you for watching and we'll see you in Quartzsite later on next month. Thank you very much.